so we congratulate this year's winner of the Williamsburg Award, Miss Diana Scott. I'm so grateful for this award. I wish to thank the law school faculty and staff for their consideration and love. And I wish to thank my aunt and mentor, Joanna Bartlett, for everything she's done to help make this possible. I wish my parents were still alive to be with me here on this day to share in this wonderful event. And then, and then Alex had a dozen red roses. Uh -huh. He had my favorite song playing. He had made the perfect meal. <sighs> Oh, Tina. No, don't be silly. <laughs> Alex, no, no, he's not home yet. But he should be home soon. Oh, Alex had his interview today. Oh, with that big accounting firm? Yeah. I know. We're both hoping that he gets the job. It would be great. I know. But he's so good at what he does. He's. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. She's more excited than I am. I'm going to be starting at her office next week while I study for the bar exam. Mm hmm. Yeah, Alex is the best. Are you kidding? Ah, speak of the devil. I'm gonna call you tomorrow. Okay, I gotta go, bye. Alex! Hey, don't chuck any mud inside. I think it rained earlier. Hey, baby. Alex? On August 11th at approximately 7.30 p.m., Diana Scott was sexually assaulted in her apartment. 
Description of the rapist matched Malcolm Humphreys, a groundskeeper at the university. So he must have seen her on campus? Yeah, exactly. About 95% of all rapists are familiar with their victims. And what about the DNA tests? They were inconclusive. They'll be thrown out. But hopefully we won't need them. We've got a lot of circumstantial evidence and a good witness. Hi. She's blind? How are we supposed to perform a lineup? I'm blind, I'm not deaf, officer. Pay attention, you can this up. All right, are you ready? Yes. All right, take my arm. Can you hold this, Alex? Of course, of course. Okay. okay. I'll be here. Not a sound from any of you. Eyes front, number three. I saw my attacker standing in line up with that sick smile on his face. I didn't even make it to the bathroom. You're doing good. Oh, God, I thought I could handle this. You're doing good. <laughs> hey, he's locked up, right? Right? some paperwork to fill out. It could take a while. That's fine. I'll wait. Alex, why don't you go home? Okay. Um, just call me and I'll pick you up. Oh, here's your bag. Thank you. Hun, I thought you were going to call me when you were done. I took a cab. Just... I needed to be alone. I arrested him. That's fantastic. I mean, but that's good, right? Yeah. God, I wish I had just... Five minutes alone with that mother. Alex, Alex, please, that's not helping. Sorry. It's 
just that when I think of what that sick son of a bitch did to you, I want to tear his heart Honey, out. Part of it's not helping, didn't you get? Sorry, I'll, I'll shut up. Thanks. I'm going beef. And orange chicken and uh, shrimp fried rice and a uh, beautiful bottle of wine. I'm really not hungry. Are you, are you sure? It's, it's from your favorite place. I can't eat. What are, you, what are you gonna make me eat all this by myself? I can't eat, Alex. I'm really sorry, baby. Alex, honey. I'm not the enemy, Dee. I'm just trying to help you. You know, you can help me by just giving me some space. You know, maybe you should see someone. You know, get a therapist to talk to. What for? I just, I mean about all the nightmares. Babe, I'm sorry about your eye. No, 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 it's not, it's got, don't be silly, it's got nothing to do with my eye. It's just that you keep pushing me away. And you're thinking a therapist is gonna help that? I just want my girl back. I have to go lay down now. Thanks for meeting me. Hi, Alex. No problem. Hi, Susan. You know, Alex, I, I really need to speak with Diana alone. Yeah, well, I'd like to stay. Alex. Hey, look, I'm your fiance. I thought we were in this thing together. Yeah. Alex, please, for me. Fine. Whatever you say. Thanks. How's he handling all this? I don't know. He's... Sometimes you'd think he was a victim. Yeah, that's not unusual. Really? Yeah, well, often in, in situations like these, boyfriends or, or husbands feel somehow emasculated. After I was raped, my now ex-husband wouldn't leave me alone. I mean, not even for a minute. Got to the point where I couldn't take it anymore, you know? I need a man, not an overprotective father. Alex is not that bad. He's just... But thanks for the insight. Hey, how's Fuller working out for you? Greg. Yeah, he's the best prosecutor we have. He really knows his stuff. Oh, yeah. Do they know who the defense attorney's gonna be? Jillian Bianucci. A woman? Yeah, public defenders don't get to choose their cases. But there's something else. Malcolm Humphreys has pled not guilty and has demanded a jury trial. A trial? 
Yeah, he swears he's innocent. And here's the best part. He says God's the only witness he'll need. It's just a subpoena I'd like to see. Yeah. Diana, I really want you to be careful in there. You know, there's no telling what Bianucci will say or do. She's really not a very good lawyer. She's a wild card. She'll try anything. Is it true that he used to work at my school? Yeah. Statistically, it fits the profile perfectly. He could have been watching me at any time. I used to think I could have just been standing there right next to him while he was stalking me. He makes me sick. You're gonna be at the trial, right? Absolutely. Court is now in session. Ms. Scott, would you please take us back to the evening of August 11th? Yes, sir. It was 7.30, and I was on the phone with my friend Tina. And I heard a noise outside, so I hung up the phone. And I went to the front door. I thought it was Alex, my fiance. There was nobody there. I heard the noise coming from the back of the house, Roy. I walked to the back of the house. But it wasn't Alex, was it? Take your time, Miss Scott. We know this isn't easy for you. And then I heard the glass break, and he came into my house. Trying to defend myself, I picked up a glass and I threw it at him. Then I had a knife to my throat. And he said that. He said, shut up or I'll kill you. Shut up or I'll kill you. That's what he said. My God, you must have been terrified. Terrified doesn't describe it. I thought he was going to kill me. I know this is difficult, Miss Scott. But you're doing just fine. Now, to the best of your recollection, could you tell us what happened next? He dragged me into my bedroom, and he threw me onto the bed, and then he ripped my clothes off, and he raped me repeatedly. You know, Miss Scott, I'm extremely impressed. I'm extremely impressed that in the middle of your terrifying attack, that you found time to touch your assailant's face. And not only that, you were able to identify him and a line of four other men that were almost identical. Now, I find that pretty incredible. What sighted people don't seem to understand is that when you're visually impaired or blind, your other senses are heightened. My sense of smell, my hearing, and my sense of touch are extremely acute. I understand that, Miss Scott, under normal circumstances. But we're not talking about a casual encounter here. Now, are we, Miss Scott? No. No, what that man did to me was not a normal encounter. I realize that your senses are heightened. But do you possibly think that you've made a mistake here and identified the wrong person, my client? Objection. Overruled. Thank you, Your Honor. Is it possible, Miss Scott? Is it possible that maybe you, you smelled the wrong man? That maybe you heard the wrong man? That maybe you touched the wrong man? Is it possible, Miss Scott? Miss Scott, you're not sure, are you? Yes, I am. You don't understand that there is a man's freedom at stake here. You clearly don't understand. Are you absolutely certain, yes, Miss Scott? Yes, I am. That is the man that raped me. 
That is him. Your Honor. That is the man that raped me. That is him. That is him. Your Honor, I think we've seen quite enough. Must we torture the witness even further? No, I quite agree. You may step down, Miss Scott. <laughs> The court calls Malcolm Humphreys. You're gonna have to forgive me, Mr. Humphreys, but I find your story hard to believe. As a matter of fact, you're gonna have to forgive me when I tell you that I don't believe anything you've told us within the last hour. The mud on your shoes was from a church picnic. The glass shards found on your gloves in your car were from when you volunteered to clean up a vacant lot. Mr. Humphreys, do the jury and I look like complete idiots to you? Objection! Withdrawn. You were never at that church picnic. You never went to that vacant lot. But you did break into Diana Scott's apartment. And you did rape her. Say something, Your Honor? Yes, you may. You may take away my freedom and put me in jail. But with my faith in Jesus, justice will prevail. Let them look into my soul and let them see the real me. For when the light of heaven shines, the truth shall set me free. The truth shall set me free. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, they have, Your Honor. On the first count, People versus Malcolm Humphreys, breaking and entering. The jury finds Malcolm Humphreys guilty. And on the second count, the people versus Malcolm Humphreys, aggravated sexual assault, the people find Malcolm Humphreys guilty. Congratulations. He's going away for a long time. Don't worry. I want you to take as much time as you need, OK? The job at the firm will be waiting for you whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Oh, God. Great. Baby, congratulations. I love you. Let's go home. Please let me help. Let's go. Sleep by now. I've got a lot of reading before the bar exam. Well, if you want me to go back in the living no, room. No, don't be silly. Gonna... It's your room, too. Besides, I I really have to talk with you. Can you sit down, please? Yeah. Sure, man. Listen, I know that this really hasn't been easy on you. Can you ridiculous. just not interrupt? I really need to say this. Sorry. Go ahead. Look, I know that 
it's been frustrating for both of us for different reasons. And you, you really, you've been wonderful. Well, hey, what else am I gonna be? We're a team. We are a team. This is why I'm really hoping that you can understand what I gotta say. What? I really need to be alone. Sure. Okay, I'll, I'll just go back in the living room. No, Alex, I mean, I mean alone, alone. Look, I know that I've been pushing you away and that's frustrating. I just, I really just need some time to heal. Please understand. Diane, if, if it's something about me touching you or something, it's oh, no baby, problem. Oh, it's I... more than that. Believe me. I just think the best thing for both of us, for our relationship, is if I can just work this out on my own for a while. How long's a while? I don't know. Can I, Diana? to my voice. Find him. Punch him. Come on harder. Grab, strike, drive. Good. One more. Grab, strike, drive. Good, good. Grab, strike, drive. Good. One more. Grab, strike, drive. That's it. All the way to the face. Grab, strike, drive. Kick to my voice. Push through it. Kick through it. And once you kick, put the foot down on the ground fast. Get up. There you go. Don't be afraid to reach out. That's it. Lay into it. Good, good, good. Grab, strike, drive. Good. Next arm. Grab, strike, drive. Good. One more. Grab, strike, drive. That's it. One more. Good. Come on. Okay, Dad. Diane. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You good. Great job. Great yeah. job. Great job. That's okay. You need to take really improved. Oh. Great job. Good morning, Mona. Do you have any messages? They're on your desk. Oh, thanks. <laughs> also, Miss Bartlett said for you to go ahead and start on the Peterman case. <laughs> Two steps ahead of her. And a young man called. Said he's an old friend of yours. He's in town on business and wanted to invite you out to dinner. A fella named Alex Chase. He sounds pretty nice. When did he call? About an hour ago. Said he was making seven o'clock reservations at Le Fontaine. Pretty fancy restaurant. Must have been some friend. He was. Shall I accept? 
Yes, absolutely. Accepting what? If it's an offer from another firm, I'll double it. I want you to know how impressed I was with your presentation yesterday. It was, it was brilliant. Well, thanks. I think Sanders would be stupid not to go with us. Of course he would. Can you file these for me, Mona? Sure. Thanks. Now, what is it exactly that we're accepting? Hmm? Dinner with an old friend, Alex. Alex Chase? <laughs> How long has it been? Five years. Well, what do you say, um, maybe I should postpone our morning meeting, hmm? Cute. It's cute. Don't do it. <laughs> Let me know if you change your mind. Everything okay over here? Okay, wonderful. Good. It's great to see you. Yeah. I got you a glass of champagne. Oh. Thank you. A toast. Why not? I'm not driving. <laughs> Toll friends. Will you call an old? Certainly not you. <laughs> you look fantastic. Cheers. I'm so proud of you, Diana, for everything you've accomplished. Thanks. Thanks. It really means a lot coming from you. And you, how, how's the wonderful world of accounting? Oh, yeah, no, I, uh, I left that a few years ago. I couldn't be chained to a desk. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm in pharmaceutical sales now. I get to travel and uh, I get to work outside of the office, so it's great. Yeah, and what, what brought you here? There was an opening for a sales rep in the southeastern region of the company, and so I took it. Mm -hmm. Along with hoping to catch up with you. I haven't even had time to uh, find a place to live yet. Uh, I've really missed you, Dee. I've really missed you too, Alex. Ooh, how's your mom and dad? Oh, well, they're great. They're great, but uh, I keep asking about you. And photography? Still doing photography? A little bit. Good. Oh, come to think of it. Oh, great. Uh, would you mind taking a picture of us? Oh, Alex, don't. Think? Oh, come on. Just, you look beautiful. I know. Uh, Just uh, smile. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh, this is good champagne. It's good, isn't it? Yes, it's all good. <laughs> I keep thinking about that time when we were in Jamaica and I said, let's go for the moped run, and we ended up getting yeah. lost on the golf course. Yeah, well, directions were never really your strong suit. <laughs> we had a lot of fun together, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. I like it. Oh, thanks. Joanna helped me pick it out. Really? Yeah, well, home sweet home. This is so you. Alex, you want to come in for a drink? I'd like to, but I can't. I've got this early morning flight to Atlanta, sales meeting. But I had a wonderful time tonight, Diana. I hope we can do it again. I would like that, Alex. Good night, hon. Good night.
This raisin's pot now? I hope so. I stopped asking. <laughs> All oh, those letters you be writing, man. You need to ask someone to send us some real food. Stuff's killing my skinny ass. It's not what they're for. Yeah, how many times I gotta tell you? No one cares. How many damn letters you write anyway? You know, 70, 80. I lost track. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if you found a guy? You know, the guy who really did it. Would that be worth to you? Okay, so man, that ain't never gonna happen. Never say never, partner. And the partner smoke says you wrong. Hey, man, man, you got something to say to me? Why don't you just say it? Because I don't got time whoa, whoa, whoa. for this shit. Wrong again, inmate. All you got is time. And a whole lot of it. Come on. See that dude chilling at the far table across from the guy at the front? Oh, yeah, that's why I started freaking. Yeah. Why would Hazard Man have been talking about you? So who the hell is he? How about I take this guy? Anthony Stay. Davis. Name right. mean anything to you? No, it shouldn't. Well, considering the man's been bragging about you doing some of his time, yeah, I think it should. What? He's been bragging at all the boys, man. By some shorty he raped five years ago. College chick. A blind chick. For real. Are you sure about this? Heard of myself. Son of a bitch. Oh, you crazy white boy? Get your hands off. Use your head, man. This ain't the time or the place. Besides, that knife ain't going nowhere. Just keep it together, man. Think. I am thinking. I'm thinking about killing him. <laughs> 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 Fool. You try anything right now and you really are screwed. Besides, how am I gonna get my cart in the smokes and up in the shoe? You'll get him. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And pass the table before me in the presence of mine enemies, and anointeth my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely mercy and goodness shall follow me all the days of my life. I knew I'd find you here. You know, this fear of a deposition is going to be a nightmare. Come on, Diane. I know you better than that. Let's go wait until tomorrow. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. I can't tell you how excited I was to see Alex. He seems really happy. He's got a good job. He's really matured. Seems like it must have brought up some old feelings. Yeah, well, that's just it. I'm so torn. It's so wonderful, and yet he just represents a part of my life that I'd just soon forget. Diana, you can't blame yourself or Alex for what happened. You needed time to heal, honey. <laughs> you know, I remember when I was first starting out, I was crazy about this guy, Warren. You know, we were really good together, but, um, yeah, you want to start a family, and I had other plans, but the point is, I had to make a choice. I still think about what my life might have been if I'd have made that choice, but those feelings are never going to disappear. They are a part of you, for better or for worse. 
You both deserve to be happy, you know? Just don't project feelings onto him that aren't his, hmm? You're right. You're right. The following inmates have medication. Smith, 209 up. Perry, 126 lower. Son, how are they treating you? Ah, uh, you know, same old, same old. Not enough sleep, lousy food, you know the deal. <laughs> but, uh, you look good. Thanks. Well, looks can be deceiving. How so? I mean, what's the matter? You've always supported me, my pop. You've always stood behind me. Of course. I always have and I always will. You know that. He's in here. Who? The guy that raped Diana Scott. Oh, good God. How do you know that? Because he's been talking, bragging about me doing his time. Have you, uh, have you told anyone? Who am I gonna tell? Nobody's gonna listen to me. Well, maybe the warden. I mean, you could appeal. Again. Appeal to the warden? I'm your son, in your eyes I'm innocent. In the eyes of the warden, I'm a convicted rapist. I might as well be invisible. How can I help you? I mean, how can I help you from out here? Pop, there's nothing that you can do for me now. There's nothing that anybody can do for me now, except maybe to pray. I am gonna try something, though, and I had to let you know. Dear Lord Malcolm, no, Pop, I gotta do what I gotta do. So there has to be another way. What other way, Pop? I've tried every other way I can think of. I've written so many damn letters, but I can't even move my fingers anymore. You've got to have faith in God. You've got to have faith in the system. I have faith in God. I've already made my peace with him, but faith in the system, no way. There is uh, one other letter you could write. You're in my light, sunshine. Like a sip. What you been talking about? That right. Well then tell me, what have you been hearing? <laughs> what are you gonna do, boy? Go ahead, put a bullet in your ass before you even squeeze a muscle. Go on, do it. You're even dumber than I thought. Yeah? How so? Fired a warning shot. Could have been me. Your eyes would bulge from your dead skull. Yeah? Well, like I said, I'm not you. No, you ain't. But you know what's funny? According to the Florida State Penal System, you are a cold blooded rapist. I do the crime and you do the time. Ain't the system perfect? You two guys, back away from each other. Now! I should have finished that girl off. And your ass would be in here for murder. You think about that. Go get him, Tim. Come on. I got your back, Tim. Come on, Malcolm. I hope you like it in here, pal. Because you're going to be looking at these pussy willows a real long time. Get him up there. Come on. Get on up there. Come on, get over here. 
Do you want a minute? Of course. Come in. Um, we received a letter this morning, and um, believe me, I almost threw it away, but I thought you should know about it. Who was it from? Malcolm Humphreys. Would you please read it? Diane, if you don't Just think. read it. <clears throat> Dear Miss Scott, I hope this letter finds you well. You're in my prayers every night. I've asked my father to get this to you let since they won't let me have your address. address. I hope you get it, because I've written to everyone else and I can't get anyone to listen. I know that you've been through some very hard times, and I also know that you must be very angry at the man who hurt you. All, All I ask has... is that you consider what I have to say with an open mind. My father tells me you're a lawyer now, so I figure you might help. There's another inmate here in prison that says he's, he's the, the one, one that hurt, hurt you. you. And he's got a scar similar to mine. Please, do a DNA test, just one. I realize the police had problems with that the last time, and I know that you're convinced that I'm guilty, but all I ask is one I test to, to set, set things, things right. right. I hope you can find it in your heart to give me this one chance. I'm, I'm sure, sure that the, the warden, warden will let me give whatever samples you need. Please help me. God bless. Malcolm Humphreys. I want to take the case. Diana, just take some time and think about I it. I need to know for sure. Look, if he's guilty, it won't make any difference, right? You don't owe this man a damn thing. Yeah, well, we're going to find out, won't we? Look, I'll pay for all the DNA tests. Don't be silly. The firm will cover all the expenses. If that's your decision, I'm going to stand behind you 100%. You know that. Thanks. Results are negative. Malcolm's DNA doesn't match. Hey, detective, you know what my wife says they put in those things? Oh, Carl, any woman married to you is definitely no expert on wieners. <laughs> I'll take my chances.
Diana. Hi, Susan. Hi. Good to see you. Here. Tables to the left, chairs to the right. Thanks. Well, you look good. You've been working out. Yeah. So things are, are going well at the firm? Yeah. Where did I go wrong? Oh, no, you can't blame yourself. Of course I can blame myself. No one else identified him. No one else sat in a court of law and told a jury that that man raped me. No one else did that. No one else identified the wrong man. Diana, DNA testing has gotten more precise. We can do things now that we could never have done before. Technology is improving itself every day. At the time, we did the best we could. You want to tell that to Malcolm Humphreys? You want to tell that to the man who had five years of his life stolen? He doesn't blame you. You've seen him. Yeah. Mm. He told me he wants to talk to you to thank you. In the letter he had mentioned another inmate. Malcolm's given us a full report. We're getting a subpoena for his DNA, of course, to see if it matches your case. Yeah, but he said that he's only in there for five years. If he knows what I've done. No, no, you have nothing to worry about. If what Malcolm says is right, he's going to be in there a lot longer than that. What do you know about him? Arrested for assault and battery. This is his second conviction, a five-year sentence. Now, under the three strikes law, being convicted of your attack would put him away for life. Of course, there would need to be a new trial, uh, but with what we have and with your testimony. What's his name? Anthony Davis. <laughs> Better make sure I'm pussy with well a clean big guy. Shut up. Hey, yeah, that's what you should have done before. You shooting off about what you did to that girl, man? Huh? Yeah. What? You think Malcolm ain't gonna tell nobody? <laughs> I think you screwed yourself heavy, partner. Heavy, heavy, heavy. <laughs> Back to work, Poncho. Poncho, my name ain't no damn Poncho, Whitey. You too, Davis. Get raking. Yeah, boss. I'm working. When did Malcolm and his dad move here? They're missionaries. They travel to all different areas and help start up new congregations. Nervous? Yeah. You try calling him first? I wanted to, but I couldn't. So you thought the good old-fashioned surprise attack would be best. 
<laughs> You're tougher than you look. Can I ask you something? Of course. What happened to your rapist? He was paroled three years ago. You ever afraid he's gonna come back for you? Yeah, at least once a night. Yep, I see it. I hope this was the right thing to do. You'll be fine. Okay, come on. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful Sunday. We'll see you next week. Okay, here he comes. Malcolm, it's really good to see you. Thank you. I'll be outside, okay? Mm-hmm. Miss Scott? Oh, God, I've been praying for the courage to face this moment. Face you. I'm glad you did. Would you like to um, sit outside? It's always a little hot in yeah. here after the service. Yeah, I'm feeling a little warm. Just in here. Mm. Um. Oh, my God, I don't know it. Not sure where I'm going to begin. I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I could spend the rest of my life telling you that, and it still just doesn't. Dis it just doesn't describe the feeling. But yeah. It it's all right. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be inside. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to a con, you know. And I, I know, I know how hard it must have been on you. And on me. The whole time during the trial, and even in prison, all I prayed for was for justice for me and for you. Oh, <laughs> oh,
I'm so sure that it was you. I was wrong. Well, you know what, Diane? I put all my faith in the fact that being innocent will be enough to keep me free. <laughs> Live and learn. That's what my pop always says. Live and learn. Can you tell me about Anthony Davis? Well, there's not much to tell. Man's barely human. No one can be who does what he does. I can't imagine what it must have been like for you to see him in there. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. The first time I met him, I wanted to kill him. But I, I, I couldn't do it. God wouldn't let me. Anthony's got his punishment and it's gonna keep coming. There's no point in hurrying it along. Well, nobody knows better how you feel than I do. But you did the right thing. I hope so. You did. You did the right thing. Oh, Reverend. Thank you for the lemonade. It was almost as sweet as your company. Ooh, are all you detectives such smooth talkers? Yes. <laughs> well, it was my pleasure, young lady. I want to thank you again for all that you did to make things right. On behalf of my whole family, we appreciate it. Oh, please, no. Come here, you. Be well. You and my son have suffered enough punishment. Be strong. Keep your faith in God. And remember that you're always in our thoughts and our prayers. Thank you. <laughs> mm. I just wanted to say thank you for coming to see me. I, I, I mean to. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I do see you. I see you as the angel that you are. Malcolm, it was very nice to see you. Thank it's you. nice to see you. All right. Let's go back in. Here you go, miss. You need a hand now? No, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Have a nice evening. this program for a late-breaking bulletin. Authorities are on the lookout tonight for an escaped convict. The fugitive Anthony Davis was serving a sentence for aggravated assault and had recently been implicated in a rape case from five years ago. He escaped from Central Florida Maximum Security Penitentiary while on work detail. Three guards and a fellow inmate were killed in the escape. The Colby County Police Department has set up roadblocks at five-mile radiuses and are conducting house-to-house -house searches. If residents spot the fugitive, they are advised not to approach him as he is considered armed and extremely dangerous. Susan, how's Diana? Well, she's doing better. I think her talk with Malcolm really helped her. Yeah, well, the next time you take off, don't forget your cell phone. <laughs> Who said I forgot it? Listen, Anthony Davis escaped from prison. What? Yeah, he killed three guards and no one's seen him since. You think he'll go after her? How would he know where she is? 
Hello, alumni office. Hi, this is Patrick Dolan from the Academy. We're having a 10-year reunion, and I'm trying to locate one of our graduates, Diana Scott. Oh, I can't do that. Come on, you know what it's like trying to plan these reunion things. <laughs> tell me about it. Please, do me this favor. From one alumni office to another, I won't tell anyone you told me. What was that name again? Scott. Diana Scott. Okay, um, you got a pen? Thank you so much, ma'am. You're a lifesaver. Thanks for coming. Of course, Diana. Have you heard anything else on the news? Uh, you know, we're still looking for him. But they're gonna find him. You know, besides, what makes you think he's gonna come after you? And how would he ever find where you live? You know, it's funny. It's like these five years never happened. <laughs> he's out there. You're here. I was hoping that wasn't a bad thing. Mm. It's not. I wish I didn't have to leave, but I set up this meeting, so I can't change it. I'm sorry. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to make it up to you. Mm -hmm. I would like to take you out for dinner. <laughs> you asking me out on a date? I think we're a little past that, but uh, yes, I am. Hmm, let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got you something. It's beautiful. <laughs> I saw it in a shop window and it just made me think of you. I'm going to be back around 8 o'clock, depending on traffic. Don't be late. <laughs> if it's up to me, I won't. See you soon.
Morning, Miss Scott. Oh. Hi, Mona. That's a lovely necklace. Oh, thanks. Alex gave it to me. So, do I have any messages? Um, can you join me for a minute in the office, please? Yeah. What? Um, listen, the detective called this morning and told me about Anthony Davis. Now, I've called Chief Hutchinson. He's willing to yeah, send out a black okay, and white to keep no, an eye on I you. I can take care of myself. This man could be but, dangerous if he thinks you're a threat. But he doesn't know where I live. And that is a chance you're willing to take? Listen, what? Just at least stay with me. Huh? huh? You know what? Alex is staying with me now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's on a business trip to Orlando for the afternoon, but he's coming back tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I just... I just get so worried. Okay? I know, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay? Carl, call Diana Scott's precinct and have them send a patrol car over to her house. What's up? I just, I, I have a bad feeling. Susan. Just do it. You got it. second. Can you just look out the window and just tell me what you see? A woman walking her dog. A couple crossing the street. Why? Nothing. Thank you, Mona. Is everything okay? It's nothing, Mona. Thank you.
with some stuff. Miss, you all right? I am now. I'm a police officer, ma'am. Hey, we got everything under control here if you want to go inside and just sweep. You'll be all right, miss? Yes. What did you do with him? He's in the car. He's, he's under our control. You're safe. Hey, there's a dead cop inside. It's Sullivan. There's a good cop in my it's house. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. When do they send a cop out to my Everything's house? Everything's gonna be okay. Let's go inside. 